Today, I'm going to show you how I make my own peanut butter at home. It's creamy, it's healthy, and it's vegan. I know you love it. I'm Lydia. Welcome to another video on Nature Unplugged. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Also hit that bell so that you are notified of future videos. For those who are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Now only two ingredients for this peanut butter. That is peanuts and salt. I will start by roasting the peanuts. The color of your peanut butter really depends on how long you roast your peanuts. I'm going to make two types. I'm going to make a darker color and then a lighter color just to show you how the color changes depending on how long you roast your peanuts. They are both delicious. When your peanuts are well roasted, transfer them into a large tray. You spread them in that tray and let them cool. When the peanuts have cooled down, it's time to remove the skins. I will rub them between my palms See how easily the skin just falls off. After this, I'll just sieve off the skins or sometimes I'll go outside and then just blow them away. I will also remove and throw away any bent ones. Sometimes the small broken peanuts bend easily when you are roasting for a very long time. So it's very important to make sure that you remove those otherwise they will mess up your peanut butter now our peanuts are nice and clean i will now transfer them into the food processor if you have a speed blender it's even better because it blends so smoothly when you start processing the peanuts you first get a peanut powder and then from then on it starts forming a dough and then from that dough you start thinning out and you get this creamy texture and it's up to you how thin you want it you keep blending until you get the consistency that you want just to say a speed blender is quicker than a food processor and it will blend this into a butter in a quarter of the time. The amount of salt that you add depends on your taste. If this is your first time making your own peanut butter, I would advise that you start with just a little bit of salt. If you need more, you can always add. Sometimes you find that the mixture needs your help so you open at intervals and just make sure you scrape the sides and also mix well so that they all process the same. I can't wait to have this on my Ezekiel bread. I also add it to my porridge or my vegetables. Instead of cooking spinach with cream, I make my spinach with peanut butter. Our peanut butter is done. Look how creamy. That beautiful color. Delicious. Looks yummy and tastes yummy too. The salt is good. Just a reminder for you to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Now I'm moving on to my second batch 
of the peanut butter. This time it's a lighter peanut butter. Look at the peanuts. I actually roasted them half the time that I took with the first ones. That is why they are lighter and they are going to give us a lighter butter. The process is the same. We'll add them into the food processor and process them the same way we did the first batch. I've also added the salt. I love making my own peanut butter. Makes me so happy. This is such an easy process. Anybody can do this. Hope you are inspired. Look how creamy it looks. Yum, yum, yum. Our peanut butter is done. Time to transfer it into a glass container. Have you noticed that this one is thicker than the first one? This is because of the time I processed it. If I wanted it thicker, I would have just processed it more. There you have it. Homemade peanut butter, creamy, healthy, vegan, no preservatives, and it's fresh too. If you like this video, please subscribe if you haven't, like the video, hit the bell so that you don't miss out on future videos, and hey, share with friends and family. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. See you in the next video.